natural gas could be considered the most important energy source for the future of the U.S. In a world that is rapidly learning about carbon footprints and going green, natural gas allows us to be environmentally responsible. The U.S. is sitting on huge reserves of natural gas, most importantly shale gas. As it is shown in the map, there are many shale gas formations in the U.S. The EIA estimates that the U.S. has a 100-year supply of natural gas through shale gas reservoirs. Shale gas reservoirs were not economically producible until the first successful fracturing project in 1998, which started a revolution. Combining horizontal drilling and hydraulic fracturing reduces the footprint of drilling and makes it possible to produce natural gas in places where previous technology could not. Natural gas is very efficient for many reasons, furthermore because of large amounts of resources in the US, shale gas moves us towards energy independency, hence current policy strongly supports shale gas development. As you can see in this plot, shale gas production has drastically increased since 2005. President Obama in his 2012 State of the Union speech clearly explains this. But with only 2% of the world's oil reserves. Oil isn't enough. This country needs an all-out, all-of-the-above strategy that develops every available source of American energy. A strategy that's cleaner, cheaper, and full of new jobs. We have a supply of natural gas that can last America nearly 100 years. And my administration will take every possible action to safely develop this energy. The experts believe this will support more than 600,000 jobs by the end of the decade. And I'm requiring all companies that drill for gas on public lands to disclose the chemicals they use. Because America will develop this resource without putting the health and safety of our citizens at risk. The development of natural gas will create jobs and power trucks and factories that are cleaner and cheaper, proving that we don't have to choose between our environment and our economy.